When a patient is diagnosed with breast cancer, there are many options that must be considered. First off, can we remove the cancer and get it out because that has the potential for cure. So that would mean surgical options. They may include a lumpectomy. They may include a mastectomy. These are two common options. Surgery is not always the first recommendation for a patient. Sometimes we uh, use chemotherapy uh, to shrink the tumor to allow um, the patient maybe to be converted from the need for a mastectomy to the option of a lumpectomy. When a patient comes to an oncologist such as myself, we begin to discuss what are the options for reducing the risk of recurrence. Depending on their cancer, that may include anti-estrogen therapy, it may include targeted immunotherapy. These are some of the options we discuss after surgery depending on what is found. Oftentimes you don't necessarily see the radiation oncologist until after you've had your surgery or even potentially after you've had your chemotherapy. We're typically last in line to see the patient and we're kind of the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak, because once you finish with radiation oncology, for the most part, you are essentially done. Most people have the same concerns, concerns about Will my hair fall out if I go on chemotherapy? And the answer is sometimes yes and no, depending on the treatment. They're concerned about um, how it'll affect their ability to go to work, their home life, their social life. They want to know what's the chance for a cure. They have tremendous anxiety about that. For a patient, when they're diagnosed, often they feel the urgency because it's a cancer diagnosis that they need to be treated within days. Having said that, though, nobody should ever go so fast that they look back and regret that they didn't do enough homework. I want them to fully understand what we're doing, why we're doing it. If they don't understand, I want them to always feel like they can come back and ask me, even if it's 10 times, 20 times, I want them to feel very comfortable with the process. I think patients should come to a physician with significant knowledge and questions. An engaged patient, a knowledgeable patient, is more likely to follow through with the best treatment. When a patient is trying to figure out what's uh, the best approach for them or what's the best uh, doctor for them to choose, they really want to go to a place that's one, convenient for you to get to, that you feel comfortable where you're getting the care, but also has multidisciplinary care. Patients are dealing still with their physician, whether it be a medical oncologist and surgeon, but we review their information with other colleagues and we come up with a best consensus opinion. The team can include nutrition, geneticists, social services. We also offer patients the option of clinical trials when they are available. Without clinical trials, we would not be able to potentially find new cures for breast cancer or necessarily improve quality of life for patients going through breast cancer treatment now. I think we're part of the chain, and we are obligated to add to knowledge and to make a better tomorrow for our patients.